Hello, this is my Infinity Q70 Hybrid, and in today's video I shall be playing in the back. I've mentioned this previously in trying to haul stuff with the with this vehicle that hybrid trunks are pretty tiny, but I'm just going to explore it. So let's go ahead and come down here, go for the button. I've got the keys in my pocket, push that button. Awesome. It releases, then it exposes the trunk. Let me turn on the flashlight. Doesn't really make much of a difference. As you can see, it's a little tight over here, but it's adequate enough to house all the things that you would typically expect from an Infinity M. So I've got my jack over there. Just fold this flap over. Well, with this protective mat, so let me roll this over and take it out just for a better view of what we're doing over here. So if you wanted the jack, come here, fold this over. It can be a little tricky sometimes, but we got it. Okay, then you can see you now have a passage to the back. This one here, pull it upwards. Get hooks, and then you've got the jack. Let's go for the wing nut screw, and out it goes. And then here we can now lift this up. This side first, and then out it goes. Easy peasy, okay? To put it back, we're going to start with this side, tuck it underneath here, like this. And there it is. I was trying to aim for this gap in here to match with the, with the threaded hole. Screw this down, and that should be good. I can take this and put it over. Can't really screw it, screw it up. Then down it goes, then I can release this ear. And we're back in business. Now, the main compartment, this is where the spare wheel is housed underneath. I'm going to release this hook handle. Pretty simple. Lift it up. You can pull it upwards and hook it on here if you want to. Gives you some sort of access, but it's a little funny to do it on hybrid, so I'm just going to take the whole thing out. And there you go. Here's your spare wheel. I'm starting to do this first because you do have your jack tools, but so tucked in there, can't really get them. Every once in a while you have this fantasy of having a full-size spare, but then you look at the the well down here and you're thinking, okay, where would a full-size spare tire go? Okay, I'm going to lift that side first. And this way, because it's sort of tucked in here. Okay. Out it goes, and then I've got this. Sometimes though, first you have to make sure that you have all the tools that you need in case you find yourself needing emergency service in a place that you don't have, you know, can't have AAA come to you or anything like that. So usually I move that over this way, and it just seems to work a little better. You know, if it does move, that is good enough for me. That's that's it. That's all the excitement, really. Nothing much. On these vehicles that don't have anything going on over here, but the hybrid seems to have some bracing. You see that? Yeah, that's not typical for the other vehicles in the with the chassis. Some insulation coming loose somewhere. 
It was just bothering me, that's all. It's not critical, really. Okay, let's go ahead and reinstall everything. So you start it with this side, then drop it in there. Some people don't do this, but this kind of bothers me, so I'm going to screw this down, then try to center it again. It's usually a good habit to also check the tire pressures. Okay. There you go. I don't think this is going anywhere. Come here. It's got ears, so it bends. Okay. Then push this down. If you do this, it doesn't really hold, but if you push in the middle, there you go. So over here, I think it's fine, but if I feel like it's rattling and bothering me, I'll come back and do something else with it. And then, might as well do this. I keep this one here because I like buying aftermarket rubber floor mats, but I couldn't find anything in the aftermarket for the hybrid, so I'm using that one there. And that's it. It's pretty much game over. And if your vehicle is locked, the rest of the vehicle is locked, when you shut your trunk, you get an indicator saying we're locked. And that's it. That's all the video is about.